This is the end Beautiful friend This is the end My only friend The end Of our elaborate plans The end Of everything that stands The end No safety or surprise Have a seat, Captain Wells. I'm going to skip the exposition and get to the point. We want you to kill an officer gone rogue. Colonel Zipf, we can all agree he's gone insane. what he do? He studied linguistics and created Zipf's Law. He revolutionized linguistics and linked it to other sciences. Because of Zipf, linguistics is not an isolated science anymore. They say that Zipf was the kind of man who would take roses apart and count their petals. He was a mental kind of guy. Here's his file. He's operating down Cawthra without any decent human restraint. Terminate with extreme prejudice. Do you have a Presto card? Yes. George Kingsley Zipf. He was born on January 7th, 1902, in the family house at 33 North Whistler in Freeport, Illinois. He attended Harvard and graduated with the highest honors in 1924. Eleven years later, he joined Harvard as an instructor and published his first important book, The Psychobiology of Language. Zipf's cancer was discovered. He had an operation in June 1950, but the cancer was too advanced to do anything. He returned home after a month in the hospital, and died several months later on September 25, 1950. His ashes are buried in the Mayflower Cemetery in Duxbury, Massachusetts. This death was particularly tragic since he had received a Geigerheim Fellowship earlier in the year. He had also given a series of lectures at the University of Chicago in the later winter as well as lectures at other universities, so he was achieving increased recognition throughout the academic community. Did he fake his death? Law is a form of Pareto distribution, which gives us the Pareto Principle. It states that 20% of the causes make 80% of the effects. Like how 20% of the world's population owns 80% of the wealth. I've studied word frequency and found that the second word's frequency is half of the first. The third word's frequency, a third of the first. You've gone too far. I faked my death so I could study this law without any disruptions. It's in all languages and beyond. It's even in our DNA. I made such a grand statement and my legacy will live on. I have cancer anyways. I'll show you a Pareto Principle. This is the end, beautiful friend. 
This is the end My 